The Tian Shan and Pamir ranges are the main mountains of Central Asia. Rising up to 7,500 meters, their summits, covered with thick ice crusts, are among the highest on Earth. Enormous glaciers flow slowly through the high valleys. Some are several hundred meters thick. It is a hostile, dangerous zone that can be reached only with great difficulty. These glaciers contain many cubic kilometers of ice. They act as Central Asia's water storage. The mountain ranges of the Tian Shan and the Pamirs are located mainly in Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Eastern Tajikistan, and Afghanistan. We're flying to the Pamir Mountains. We're on the way to the place where one of the two lifelines of Central Asia, the Amu Darya River, originates. The area is so remote that it's accessible only by helicopter. This exotic place attracts courageous tourists and extreme climbers. The Pamir still fascinates explorers, just as it fascinated Marco Polo, whose path to China in the 13th century led him through these mountains. We see a plateau at the altitude of 4,000 meters, covered with huge glaciers. The Ferchenko Glacier, currently extending for 77 kilometers, is one of the longest in the world. But even this giant is shrinking. Not only is it getting shorter, but its one kilometre thick ice is getting thinner. Climate change leaves visible marks, even up here in the freezing cold. Over the last decades, the glacier has been melting and as a consequence has retreated by hundreds of metres. Huge tailor slopes give us a vague idea where the ice once was. The increasing glacier melt in almost all mountain regions of the world is caused by global warming. This trend becomes particularly evident in Central Asia. The glacier volume has rapidly decreased in the last few decades. We may face a continuous melting of these glaciers. Some scientists predict the amount of water that flows from the Pamirs may decline in the very long run. Annual average temperatures in Central Asia have been rising just like everywhere else. A rise in temperature of two degrees seems to be insignificant, yet in fact this trend is alarming. Researchers know that even small temperature changes may have a massive impact on the environment. The same phenomenon can be observed in the mountains of the Tian Shan and Pamirs. The temperatures are rising. The consequences of climate change are already evident. In the short to medium term, there will be more water from glacier melting. But this is not a positive trend, as it is only temporary. Glacial lakes are growing larger, and there is a danger that they could overflow. Earthquakes and high water pressure destabilizes slopes, causing landslides that can bury entire villages. For example, the tallest natural dam in the world is situated in the Pamir. After an earthquake in 1911, the slope slid down into the valley, which created this dam with a height of 500 meters. For already 100 years, the Murgab River is being retained. Today, the Sares Lake is 56 kilometers long. Most experts consider the dam condition to be safe. But given local seismic activity and glacier melt, slopes above the dam may become unstable and fall into the lake, which could send water over the top. An enormous catastrophe would be the result.
When looking at these majestic mountains and glaciers, one feels very small and humble. It is hard to imagine that mankind does harm to them through global warming. In the long run, over the next 100 years, drastic changes are anticipated. When there are fewer glaciers, some researchers argue that there will be a reduction in water flow of Central Asia's two big rivers, the Amu Darya and Su Darya. The consequences of this water flow reduction could be dramatic for the people living in this region. May these projections prove wrong.